Section 3.2, we're going to use the chain rule and the general power rule to find the derivative of the function. The first part is going to be about the chain rule and then later with the general power rule. After that, we're going to use more than one rule as a combination of the rules to find the derivative of a complex fraction. The chain rule is the rule to use uh, that we use to find the derivative of the function in the composite function form. As we identify y in the term of the u, u in the term of the x, the derivative of the y in terms of x is the product of the derivative of the y with respect to u and the derivative of the u with respect to x. As you see the connection between y and x, y is in term of u, u is in term of x, you're going to find the derivative of the y with respect to u, and you're going to find the derivative of the u with respect to x. You multiply them, you're going to get the result as dy by dx, which is the goal that we are looking for. So another form of the chain rule, we call the second form, which should know when you find a derivative, whatever that appropriate for that problem, just go for it. Um, based on this book, they call the second form because the function is in a composite function form as the f composed with the g. The f is called the outer function and the g is called the inner function. You compose f with the g. When you find the derivative of the y with respect to x, you can find the derivative of the outer function multiply by the derivative of the inner function. So I'm going to write in this form. This is the outer derivative. And the other part is the inner derivative. And then for the case that we're going to deal with the most, it's about the power form. But now in the form of the expression raised to the power n. So we call this the general power rule which technically is the chain rule that used for the power form of the function. If you have the function in the form of some quantity raised to the power n, when you read the expression, you see the power n, think about the power rule. And in you, if you have the composite form, so refer to the general power rule to find the derivative, find the outer function derivative, which is the derivative of the power n, and then multiply by the inner derivative or the derivative of the inner function. And in this case, if we rewrite it one more time, the y prime is from finding the derivative of the outermost, which is the power n, or n multiplied by some quantity as the inner function, raised to the power n minus one and then multiply by the derivative of the inner function, and which is the same as the formula that's provided here.